I hope you like the intro. The intro. I worked a bit on that. It was a bit of fun. Um, I've got two submarines. The Nautilus here, which is pretty new, uh, and the U-boat. And the Nautilus, both of the boats are scratch built. In other words, I've made most of everything that's inside them. They both work really very well. But the reason they work so well is because I have an Arduino inside them that I have programmed to do certain things. And I want to explain this at the beginning. Something like this, uh, a submarine, is something that you want to sail. And you want to use radio control to do it. You want to stand there and you want to see this thing work out on the water. So you don't want to automate all of that away. What you want to do is automate certain functions so that it works really well, but not only that, so that it works with the radio control really well. So that the whole thing is integrated and it makes it a very uh, fun and exciting experience, but it really works um, very nicely. So that's what I've tried to achieve with Arduino, and I think I deserve brownie points because I've only known about Arduino for a year and a half. And so the um, code that I've put into there, I've really had to wrestle with and get it to work. But at the end of the day, this isn't working too badly. So in order to explain about the automation component, I'm going to have to begin by explaining about how the ballast system on this boat works, because it's fairly unique, you probably won't find it elsewhere. And then I'll talk to you about how the Arduino automates that, then we'll see it in practice, okay? Okay, so here's the submarine, as you could see, and I'm just going to lift the top off. and I'll explain how the parts work. First of all, to get the boat to surface and to dive, right in the middle here there's a ballast tank, which I'm sure you can see. Now the ballast tank works from a pump that's here that pumps the water in and out, and when it pumps the water out it sucks air in through this tube, which means, naturally enough, for the main ballast to function, the, the top of the conning tower needs to have broken the surface of the water. But what you can see in here is a piston. And this piston drives up and down, increasing and decreasing the capacity of the water in that ballast tank, which means that when the piston withdraws, the boat gets heavier and sinks. When the piston pushes this way, the boat gets lighter and it surfaces. So that's the fine adjustment, but there's plenty of uh, adjustments in there to bring the boat to the surface where I could turn the pump on. The final touch is right here, which is a little bottle of water. And you can also see one in the stern right here. And just here, there is a peristaltic pump inside the boat that pumps water between these two little bottles. What that does is it gives me fore and aft trim balance. And that works completely separately to everything else. So altogether, this system means that I have a high degree of control of the boat but at the same time, it's quite complicated to use. Um, with a standard RC, I can control all of those functions independently, and that's fine. But to sail it on the water and control all of that is not quite so fine. Now, there's another component uh, that I've added in terms of the programming, and that is the bow hydroplanes that I think that you can see. The bow hydroplanes close up, and they open out, and they operate when they're open. That was quite a challenge to work, and there's quite a mechanism sitting under there with two servos to operate them, but the Arduino actually controls them also, in a number of different ways. So, I'm going to explain that now briefly, and then we'll go to the pond. So I'm going to turn the transmitter on, turn the boat on, and you can see the little hydroplanes wheeling around there. They're now functioning. Now, I have control of the main tank via this knob. That's out, that's in. This is the piston. That's making the boat heavier. This is making the boat lighter. And then I have the trim tanks, fore and aft trim. Apart from that, we have things like the rudder, we have the hydroplanes, we have this and that. 
So nearly all the channels on the receiver in here go into the Arduino. Um, and the Arduino manages all of those switches. I could do that without Arduino. But Arduino will now make some functions work which are exceptionally nice. And what I've added to the boat, and it's in this little uh, container here, is a pressure gauge. And the pressure gauge sits out there in the water and it measures constantly what the pressure of the water is. And I can use that to uh, automate depth keeping control and it will control the bow hydroplanes and it will control the piston to keep the boat at a particular depth. I could continue to talk about this but let's go and have a look at it in action. Okay one thing we do before we go down to the pond is I need to turn the boat on, the transmitter on and just retract the servos. The Arduino is doing that, that's the reason it's happening so very nicely and slowly and once they're up the servos turn off, both of them. That's it, they're dead. Let's go. All right, so we click this switch this way to take a snapshot and then easily throw it the other way to put it in auto. Neutral means that the boat is not controlled or not taking a snapshot. And this switch uh, away from me means to dive and toward me means surface routines and I just drop it back into the central position after I've clicked it. We're here at the lake. It's been rotten weather and I've just really had to take a chance here. So I've dropped it in the water and it's spinning away from us nicely. My wife is doing the camera work um, and we'll see how we go. It's just not easy to video submarines. So here are the hydroplanes opening. That's looking very nice. Um, I've got it. Um, it's not actually sinking. I could do with some more lead. It's a bit of a problem. Um, and because of that I haven't been able to set the snapshot so I'm sailing it away using the hydroplanes now to um, pull it down and once the sail is clear of the water and it's now down I flick the snapshot and put it in auto and it's holding depth now very nicely it's not so easy for the camera person so now I'm putting it on surface routine and up it comes and I'm running straight into another boat. This is what happens at times like this. Um, but you can see basically how that works. The main pump is now on and the boat is coming up from the depths. Yes, I just missed about three boats there. Never that easy. So we're coming in now and I've hit the dive button and the first thing that happens is that the piston's moving so you're not really seeing much in relation to the boat going down but then the main pump starts, it's very quickly full. I think the routine is now finished so at this point I pull the hydroplane down, flick the switch forward into auto control like that and the boat is now um, holding its depth. I haven't got it. No, I don't see it anymore. And doing so very nicely, I might add, my wife thinks that she's lost it at this point. As long as she holds the camera there, we're fine. I have to say, that is as close to perfect as I want. It's very, very nice indeed. Yep, she's lost it. That's it, caught it again for a moment. So the pressure gauge holds the boat very nicely. We're just doing another diving run here. Um, it's easier to video a diving run than it is a surfacing run because it's obviously difficult to see the boat prior to surfacing. And we're not too successful this time. But down she goes once again. Uh, I use the hydroplanes then just click it into remote. Now we've picked her up on surfacing but a bit late and now I've got the main pump on. I like to control that myself to empty the tank and she's coming clear of the water and looking very nice. Now my wife's struggling here but you can see the hydroplanes now are tucking in and we're going to do a power run and come back you can see why they tucked the hydroplanes in when they were moving through a, through the ocean quickly. She's 
She's got a nice burst of speed. Looks like my um, aerials come a bit adrift. Never mind. But you see pictures of the Nautilus running just looking like this. She really had some power and um, that's very nice. So just bringing it in now and uh, we'll pack it all away before it rains. There you go. The Nautilus.